Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm bringing you 10 minutes of cleaning motivation for an after work clean with me. So if you are just getting home from work, grab that to-do list and let's tackle some of those messes together. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you. Let's get right into the cleaning. So I did want to start out by introducing myself because I have so many new subscribers. So my name is Meredith and I am a full-time music teacher. I teach elementary school music. So this is pretty much what an after work evening looks like for me. I am cleaning up from dinner and things like that, but I have just recently hit 1,000 subscribers here on my channel and I am so excited, you guys. I am so grateful for each and every one of you that is subscribed to this channel and I will be doing a giveaway very, very soon as a way of saying thank you so much much for hitting 1,000 here on my channel. And if you guys have any suggestions for a giveaway, let me know down below. I have a few ideas, but I wanna know what you guys would really like since this is my way of saying thank you so much to all of you. Only you actually filmed this video on a Friday and I feel like by the end of the work week I just am so exhausted. I try to keep up with the house a little bit every single day that way by the time I get to Friday I only have a little bit of work to do. Sometimes I save the cleaning until Saturday. Let me know what you guys do down below. If you are someone who works outside of the house do you like to get a little bit done each day? Do you save it all up for one day? I feel like I need to get kind of on a routine now that I'm back at work but just want to know what you guys do since I'm trying to start some kind of new routine. just finishing up in the kitchen. I'm gonna wipe down the counters, but first I'm putting some lemon essential oil down the drain because my disposal was really smelly and I think lemon or any citrus essential oil does a really good job of eliminating those smells. And let me know by hitting the like button if you are enjoying this video and also hit the like button if you want me to do some more fall decorating videos. You guys absolutely loved my fall decorating video and there are a couple of spaces in the house that I really didn't decorate for fall. I didn't do my office and I didn't do the master bedroom I'm getting very, very close to sharing with you my master bedroom makeover reveal video. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure that you hit your bell notifications. That way you don't miss a video. But let me know by hitting that like button if you want to see some more fall decorating. Fall down and don't get up. Nobody would care. Yeah. Don't want to be alone anymore. I am donating all of these clothes sitting here on the kitchen table, so I just wanted to bag them up really quickly before I put them in my car. But I recently cleared out all of my drawers and my closet and stuff of any clothes that I hadn't worn in a long time, stuff that didn't fit. You guys know if you've watched any of my organizing videos before, I hold on to stuff for way too long, but now I'm kind of consolidating everything so that my clothes are not in every single closet in the house. I'm getting a lot better about reorganizing things, but now I'm gonna move on to putting the chairs on top of the table. I'm gonna let my robot vacuum do its thing, and then we'll come back and mop the floors later once I'm done with the bathrooms. Sleeping on my own, tell me how to be. Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah I'm pretty sure if I fall down and don't get up, nobody would care, yeah Don't wanna be alone anymore, so I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked ooh, ooh. Anybody else that has a cat 
get litter all over the floor. I constantly am moving the litter box out of the way and sweeping because she just sprays litter everywhere. I have a mat under the litter box, but I just cannot seem to get a handle on it. So any tips would be most appreciated for controlling the cat litter. Still waiting for the one Looking for someone Who cares about my needs Ain't nobody calling my phone up just to make sure I get home safe and sound, yeah, I'm pretty sure If I fall down and don't get up, nobody would care, yeah Don't wanna be alone anymore, so I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked Sleep with the doors unlocked. I'm gonna wipe down the sink and then I will scrub out the toilet and we'll be done here in the bathroom. I feel like by the end of the week, this bathroom is always a disaster because I'm in here every morning getting ready and every night getting unready. So I definitely needed to wipe this down really, really well. I had also already done the bathtub too. I usually don't film myself doing the tub just because it is way, way, way too hard in this tiny bathroom to get a good camera angle. But I have still been loving using the Jaws shower cleaner in there. It is just my favorite go-to. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Time to move on to my favorite chore, which is mopping the floors. Yes, I'm totally serious. I love mopping the floors. I have been using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Concentrate for just about as long as I've had this mop. It is my favorite thing to use. And actually, my, one of my most requested cleaning products to share on Instagram, a lot of times I'll get asked about that. And I also get asked about what I use in my kitchen sink, which is the Barkeeper's Friend. You saw me use that earlier when I um, clean the sink out. And I get that from like Target, Walmart, but I get the Mrs. Meyer stuff from the Grove Collaborative and I always have my referral code down below if you guys want to try out some of those cleaning products. They smell absolutely amazing. I've been loving all the fall scents and this is just my go-to because of the type of floors that I have. I know if you have wood floors, you may want to use something different, just depends, but I have the vinyl plank floors. They're kind of like a laminate, but a little bit nicer quality, a little more heavy duty. So this is what I use and it works perfectly. So I keep giving you guys some sneak peeks of the master bedroom in some of these cleaning videos and while I have this clip up here I thought I would ask for you guys' opinion because I'm not entirely sure what I want to put here. I'm thinking that when I move the chest of drawers downstairs into the guest room for guests to use that I'm going to put a vanity over here. I already have the perfect mirror for it. I'm going to chalk paint it and hang it up on the wall. All I need is the vanity and chair underneath but I can't find anything that is super cute, vintagey, farmhouse looking. So let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for me. 
basically my other option is just going to a secondhand store and finding something to refinish myself but I will keep you guys updated and hopefully the master bedroom makeover video will be out in the next few weeks but that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you're subscribed to my channel especially if you are new and definitely turn on those bell notifications that way you don't miss my next video because it will have my 1000 subscriber giveaway and I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.